Tonight, we examine the remarkable intelligence of animals. You may think your pets are smart. Yeah, but can they speak English or play video games? Here in the Bay Area, you'll find both. Tonight, I'll look at their incredible abilities and an effort by Eckerd College to explore the limits of animal cognition. We think no one knows how intelligent animals are. If the eyes are the window to the soul. We don't assume any limit. We are still left to wonder what our pets are thinking. We can't read their mind. And what they're trying to tell us. But inside this room, filled with play toys, you'll find a precocious preschooler with a very familiar vernacular. Glass. Yes, made of glass, good job. Meet four-year-old Apollo. Book. Yes, book, good job. The African Grey that's a Guinness World Record holder. What's this called? Block. Yes, good job. He identified 12 things within three minutes and that's including snack breaks. Here's a snack. What's this called? Shrek. Yes, yeah, Shrek. His voluminous vocabulary more than just repetition. Exactly how much? Black. We really don't know. I don't think anyone really knows. It's bell. That's right, Bell. There are so many instances where you can tell he's he's thinking, observing. Yeah. This four-year-old parrot likes talking. Or a snack. But he lives for pistachios. Or a snack. You want to earn a snack? In a minute, Apollo. Typically, it's four questions for a pistachio. Today we are... Dalton and Tori Mason are documenting Apollo's remarkable journey for the world to see. Okay, that's enough. You don't need my teeth. On this day, his talents have a tight grip on Tori. We socialize him like a human son. As she edits new content for millions of fans. We have 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube, 450,000 followers on Facebook, 1.3 million followers on Instagram, 2.9 million followers on TikTok. Oh. For Dalton, Tori, and Apollo. Good bird snack. The planets aligned during the pandemic when they discovered their prized parrot for $1,700. Apollo just was at the pet store for a steep discount right after I had gotten a, the stimulus check for just about the same amount of money. Look, it's a new job, a whole new career, starting the business, like, very stimulating, that check. Ready? Tori says it's a bond straight out of the book of Genesis. Ba, 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 ba. It's literally the first story. Wow. Can we do it again? Speaking to the animal. <laughs> Eve talking to the serpent. Oh, what a good shake. Apollo's amazing abilities have captured the attention of the Eckerd College Animal Studies Department. Birds have actually become superstars in the area of animal cognition. Being able to problem solve and do all these sorts of complex cognitive tasks that for a long time we thought only primates could do. <laughs> Gracie Barantine is a senior at Apollo is her pet project. Yes, but I've never worked with an animal that's been able to verbalize back to me. Sock. For the past two years, she's been trying to develop a baseline of Apollo's accuracy. This is a wrench. Metal. Yes, and it's made of metal. I call him my best friend. I don't know if the feeling is mutual or not. At times, Gracie finds herself parroting the parrot. I used to just say metal. Little. But now it's metal. Little. And it's not just Apollo who's putting on a show for Eckerd students. Good boy. This mild-mannered mutt named Orlo is learning how to play video games. Yes, good boy. We've taught him um, what we call concept behaviors, where he has to really think about it. It's playtime with a payoff. Yes, good. Fit for a proficient pooch. Yes, good. Who's part standard poodle part Australian Shepherd, and believe it or not, a little coyote mixed in. No one's ever actually trained a dog to use a video game in this way. We can get at some of these other sort of cognitive abilities through the gaming. Yes, the boy. As Orlo and Apollo <whistles> dazzle an audience. What's this called? Box. There's no limit to where their cognition goes. Big Bird? 
Good. Oh, that was a really good one. They awaken us to the untapped abilities in the animals around us. We can't limit them to what we think they're capable of without giving them the opportunity to demonstrate what they are capable of. No doubt, uh, Apollo and Orlo, very <laughs> intelligent animals. It's clear, though, that the uh, consistent practice has really paid off. Keep in mind, when we are training our pets at home, Eckerd Professor Lauren Heifel said, studies show that given a choice between just giving a pet food or having them perform a problem-solving task first, animals prefer working for the food.